Thank you. Uh, so uh, I will continue. Uh, and uh, in this talk, I will introduce a new category, new category called uh, or minimal category, which lies between the algebraic category and uh, the analytical category. And uh, so to begin with, let me first show you an example that that show you how the Temnitz property will control the behavior of a holomorphic. Uh, holomorphic function. So, it, uh, the example is that. So, suppose we have a holomorphic function. Which is also definable. Then, F is algebraic, I mean, f is a polynomial function. So let's give you a proof of this uh, simple lemma. So uh, in dimension one case, so, so <clears throat> if f has a has an essential singularity at the infinity. Then by the big pick car implies F has infinite. Fibers, right? But at least contradict to f is f definable. Okay. So for m bigger than one, we write C n as the product of C times C and minus one. So, and uh, we have a coordinate projection, which sends C W to W. So for any W in the base C and minus one, by the first, by the first case n equal to one, at least so we fix, we fix W each time. So this is a polynomial in Z. And uh, since F is definable, this implies the degree of F with respect to the first variable z is uniformly bounded. I mean, this is the consequence of the definable cell decomposition theorem, but I didn't discuss about it last time. So I will just tell you that this is a simple consequence of that theorem, uniformly bounded. So, so, uh, namely, there exists N and uh, FCW can be right as use the tail extension Let's see to the power of K k from zero to m, right? So now, so we want to show each term is a polynomial. So, but uh, is, is each term is a function from c minus one to c. So then we can use induction. On M. 
So the base case is the, uh, the, the, the first step and equals to one. Okay. And uh, using this simple lemma, we can give a, a proof of the so-called all minima Charles theorem, the definable version of the Charles theorem. So, Uh, a minimal child. We, uh, so suppose we have a, sorry. Oh. Suppose we have an closed analytic sub variety in CM. Uh, this is closed analytic. I mean, here closed is in the strong, the strongest topology. I mean, in the analytic topology, closed analytic, which is also definable. Definable means that we identify CN with R2N using the real part and uh, the imaginary part of the coordinates. Then the conclusion is that X is algebraic. The X is an algebraic sub variety of AM, which is unique. I mean, the, the usual Charles theorem requires us this, the ambient space to be proper, but uh, here we do, not, we do not need that assumption, but we need the definability control, uh, assumption. Uh, I mean, definable means that definable in some or minimal structure. So, so let me, Give you an example of why the usual Charles theorem need the ambient space uh, proper. So the example is that you can see you can see the exponential function, the graph. Of the exponential function. This is analytic, close analytic sub variety of the, of C cross times C cross. But uh, I mean, the exponential function is transcendental, so it's not algebraic. And uh, for the application, we need to replace AM. So for application, I mean, application to logic theory. Later, I will. we need to replace AM by some algebraic space, general algebraic space. I mean, not necessary scheme. Okay, uh, and uh, so. I mean, this or minimal Charles theorem will be a consequence of this simple lemma, but I, I will not give you a proof. You can find that in some references. So, so I, and uh, next I will um, discuss uh, the, I mean, the application of only or minimality in Hodge theory. So let's begin with some brief introduction of Hodge theory. So. So the definition of whole structure, suppose we have a portion free
final type, final, final rank, D module. And give you an integer. And also a bilinear form on this C module, which is minus one to the power of K symmetric bilinear form. On HC. So the definition a, a polarized host structure of width K on HC on this module is a decomposition. So once once we phase change this H C to C, this is H C. We can decompose, dec decompose this as a direct sum of P Q pieces and uh, satisfy the following condition. The conjugate, complex conjugate of H P Q is H Q P. So here's the look. Mm, so, the complex conjugate is respect to the real structure. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, if if we set F P to be the direct sum of H R S, we are the direction is taken from the at uh, taking from the r grid equivalent p pieces. So you now we get a decreasing differentiation. On on this base H C right and uh, and uh, this decreasing satisfies that FP plus the direction of FP with FK plus one minus P conjugates is the whole space. So in fact, these two definitions are equivalent. So from about from this, this direction is just given by this. And uh, if you want to go back, you set HPQ defined to be the intersection of H FP with FQ conjugate. Okay. And uh, we have a so called V operator. It's defined to be the Direct sign. So, which means that the uh, the operator on this is a map from H C to H C, such that on each piece is, is on each piece is is uh is multiplication by i to the power of p minus q. And uh, in fact, this is a Real operator. So we can define the so called Hodge, Hodge norm, which is so required that we have a, 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 a bilinear form. We can base change to C and uh, use this V operator conjugate. So this is so called Hodge norm. So a polarized host structure is uh, says, uh, means that this H is positive definite. And uh, also the decomposition is H orthogonal.
Okay. So an example to keep in mind is that suppose you have a smooth projective, a variety uh, polarized by an ampullite bundle. Uh, is the ampullite bundle on X. Then if you can see it, the case cohomology of this, the body cohomology of X and the take the primi primitive part means that the commodity doesn't come from the, the ambient space. Is. So if you, if you use this line bundle embed X to some, uh, to some projective spaces, this primitive means that the commodity doesn't come from that ambient spaces. And uh, you mod modulo the torsion. Then, uh, and, uh, the bilinear form is defined to be, so you take two classes, then it, uh, some constant, which I never remember this constant, then just write it down, some constant. It divides the integral of, so if you, you, you have a first turn class of this line bundle, you raise to the power of, dimension x minus k and uh, you watch us watch beta. Then this will give you an example of polarized host structure of weight k. Okay. Now we want, we not, next we can see, we will discuss the classifying spaces or of this kind of data. So now this is so-called period domain. So that D defined to be the classifying spaces, space of mm, uh, integral hot structure on some fixed. Sorry, can you go back slightly? Uh, yes. Previous. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Mm, nope. Okay. Yeah, go on. Thanks. Mm. Okay. Thank you. So we can. So we, we, we fix a module, free module, and uh, sorry. And uh, a bilinear form, we can set all of integral host structure on these spaces. And uh, so we need to fix some numeric data. So with fixed Hodge number. HPQ. So uh, for this, I mean, the HPQ sh should equal to HQ P and uh, the sum of HPQ should be the rank of HZ. Okay, so remember that we have a equivalent uh, description of the hot structure. So, so if we let FP to be the sign of HRS are uh, great or uh, equivalent P, and we define the so-called compact dual of D to be all the filtration. So let's let it down, let write it as this all the decreasing filtration on this module base change to C. So satisfying the following condition HP 
Le... So a uh, orthogonal of HP, FP, sorry, is, I mean, this orthogonal is, is uh, taken with respect to this binary form, is FK plus one minus P. And the dimension of FP is FP. So this is a closed subset of the Glassmannian, right? So this is a flag variety. So it has a chronic complex projective variety structure. So and uh, the D is an open subset of this compact duo. So the D is just the filtration that such, such that the whole genome is greater than zero. So this is an open subset. So this is also semi-algebraic, right? Semi-algebraic open. So this gives a complex structure on D. Uh, okay. Uh, so what is S you wrote uh, F? Upper P equals sum over H upper R S. What is S? Uh, S. Is, I mean R. Sorry, R plus S equal to K. Okay. Ah, okay. And K is the 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 weight. The, the weight. Yes, weight. Thanks. Mm. With K. So in fact, this is a. The compact duo and uh, the classifying space are homogeneous variety. So for this, I mean that we, if we consider the group, the algebraic group, defined to be the automorphism of this, uh, this, yes, Q. Uh, of HQ, which preserve uh, the bilinear form. So this is a semi-simple Q algebraic group. So I that bar here, semi-simple Q algebraic. And uh, using some, I mean, linear algebra, you can prove that the complex point of this acts transitively on a compact duo. And it turns out the real point acts transitively on, on the classifying space. So this is a, so this means that this complex duo is a complex manifold, right? Because you have a transitive group action on that spaces. So and uh, the D will be a open submanifold, the class finds this D. And uh, so if you choose a base point. The, the inclusion of D in the compact duo can be write as, so the D can be write as caution of the real point by some group, the stabilizer of this base point. And uh, this D check. Tier P is a parabolic subgroup because I mean, it is a it is a stabilizer of some flag. Right? This is a flag, right? This is a parabolic, and this M is compact. Why? 
because uh, this M preserves the, the way operator, so it commutes with the, it, so it, it preserves the hot long, but since the hot long is positive definite, so this is compact. Okay. So now we uh, next we will discuss the variation of hot structure polarized. So the category of polarized integral variation of hot structure. So suppose you have a smooth connected quasi projective variety. Over the complex over over C, and uh, a polarized integral variation of host structure on S is given by the following data. So you have a log system, integral log system on the analytification of S, and uh, so if you consider the flat holomorphic bundle associated to this log system, which, which for, for this, I mean, you have, so, log system. So you, you have a flat connection. Uh, uh, here, this, this, for this, I mean the constant local system. And uh, you have a filtration by holomorphic sub, holomorphic sub bundle of this holomorphic bundle V. And uh, you have a polarization Q. So, so let's write it down. Vz is a the local system. On SM. And uh, this is a flat connection. And F is a decreasing filtration, FP. We by holomorphic sub bundle. You see, holomorphic sub bundle. And uh, Q is a map of local system. Morphism of log system. So this data satisfying the following conditions such that for any point S in SM, the fiber over each point is a polarized host structure. So S filtration and uh, polarization is a polarized integral host structure. And moreover, it should, it, it should satisfy, it should satisfy the so-called greatest transversality condition. Versality, which means the lambda, the connection act on FP lands in just shift the FP by minus one. So I give you a remark is that in fact all these 
data are algebraic. This is Schmidt theory. Maybe you forget the Cartesian form. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Th thank you. In, in fact, this data are algebraic. So I think next time we'll, someone will talk about this. So the example, you, uh, to keep in mind is the following, suppose, suppose you have a smooth project, I mean over C, or smooth project your family. X is also smooth uh, counterproductive. Then the log system you can see is the push forward, the higher direct image so of the constant log system on X. And uh, the connection is the gauss manning connection. So this is uh, hypercomology of the relative drum complex with the gauss manning connection. And the filtration is, is just the, the stupid filtration. And uh, the polarization is, it is induced by some hyperplane section. So, sorry. Suppose you have a Two form which such that it is strict to each fiber is the hyperplane section. So the polarization is reduced by this. This two form one one form. So now we want, so this data is in fact equivalent to the following data. So suppose, so we can see the universal cover of this SM uh, oh, sorry, uh, at the beginning we fix a point. We choose a point that's zero fixed. S zero in S and uh, H Z to be the fiber to be the fiber of a, a local system over S zero. So and uh, we can see the universal company of this com uh, complex analytic manifold. Then if we pull back this local system, then this will be true, colonial true, as as. And uh, again, you will pull back the flat connection, and this will be okay. Also, you can pull back the quadratic form, pull back the filtration, and so on. Pull back the quadratic form will give you. Quadratic form on the on the lattice. So and uh, we have a map from S M the universal cover to to the classifies to the pure domain, which sends each point 
is let's tilt to the filtration. So now you, you can consider. Uh, so this gives you a family of host structure on the fixed module, right? On the fixed module. So if you consider the filtration on HC, this gives you a map. So this is the class by map. And, uh, and uh, this map is, is uh, equivalent under the monodromic representation. So, so if we denote the integral point of the, the group, the algebraic group I defined before to be the point of the rational point such that Z preserve the lattice. Then, oh, sorry. Uh, so since this is a log system, a log system uh, corresponds to a representation of the fundamental group. Of GLHC. And uh, in fact, Uh, the image of of row is called the monodromic group is contained in, in this. and uh, so I mean in fact you need you need to pass to the it out cover of this test so if we choose gamma and you, if we choose a gamma, it's a finite index arithmetic subgroup to a finite index containing the monodromic group finite index arithmetic. I mean, small enough which, um, to make sure that the quotient will be uh, algebraic manifold. So, and uh, then this map phi tilt is low equivalent. So for this, I mean, this descends to a map from Sn to D, to D module gamma. Okay. Maybe gamma is contained in the image of the monodromy. So it's a finite index subgroup of the monodromy group, right? Uh, it's not a container, I think. No, it's a final index subgroup of G of Z. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Of the group. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay, thank you. Okay. And uh, so, and uh, this map, property of this map, map is holomorphic. And the batch construction is locally liftable. And uh, the Grisis-transversality, if we translate Grisis-transversality to this map, this means that this map phi is horizontal, which means that all local, all local lift team are horizontal. Uh, this is Grisis-transversality. Transversality. Uh, I mean, a map horizontal is that we can define the so-called horizontal tangent bundle. So, so if we have a point in a compact dual, the tangent space of this point is just. Uh, I mean, it just. The tangent bundle associated to the liberalization on this re algebra. So, F, so let me first write it down. First, in fact, this is the re algebra of the parabolic subgroup F0. Uh, 
I should say this F is not this F, but uh, I mean this. So a whole structure, a whole structure on HC induces a weight zero whole structure on the algebra of the group. Till I, this is GC. And uh, uh, if you don't know, no, you can just consider about this is the Lie group of the parabolic subgroup. And uh, the horizontal tangent bundle, so it's, I mean, this is it's just the tangent space at the, the truth po at the chosen point, so, and uh, you can use the group action to change this, this tangent space to everywhere. So. And the horizontal tangent bundle is just the minus one pieces of the whole structure, F minus one. So horizontal for horizontal mean that's uh, horizontal. The mean of is that the differential of define takes values. in the H, the horizontal tangent bundle. A remark is this space is in general not algebraic except some cases, for example, the modular spaces of uh, abelian varieties that will be uh, algebraic is a streamer, right? And uh, I mean, but however, it has some tameness property, so, which is a foreign theorem of Baker, Klingler, and uh, Zimmerman, is the foreign theorem. First part is this the mod this I, I call this um, so give it name uh, what variety this what variety at least uh, so no I will change this maybe called arithmetic caution. Okay, this is Hodge variety, but uh, anyway, sorry. Hodge variety admit a functorial definable structure. Ah, this R L, so a definable structure, definable analytical variety structure. So I, I will define what is definable analytical right later. But let me first state the theorem. So so functorial means means foreign. So so more general. So because this this whole variety can be write as a Caution. As an, as an arithmetic subgroup, right? So this is this special case of the so-called arithmetic caution. In fact, they prove that this RL definable structure can can be put on any arithmetic caution, and uh, 
And if you have a morphism of arithmetic quotient, for this I mean, you have a morphism of Q algebraic group, semi-simple algebraic group, and a, a point in a, a rational point of, so this is a morphism of Q algebraic, group. and uh, you choose a point, and the morphism of arithmetic variety is that it, it is induced by Balmorphism on the group. So, 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 F gamma prime, the image of gamma prime is in gamma, and uh, the image of some compact group is contained in the conjugate of M. And uh, the map from S. Uh, so, comma prime, m prime, t prime. This is just from this to list of this to S arithmetic quotient is given by. So, if you have a double coset, h prime, m prime, you send it to gamma f h. G M prime. Oh, sorry, M. Functorial means that this map is R L definable. So, ju just a curiosity about this notion of arithmetic quotient. What do you mean? Uh, uh, it just means a, a reductive group quotient out by some compact subgroup and uh, caution out by some arithmetic lattice. Uh, okay. Not necessarily over Q, it's... Ah, okay, sorry, yeah. Hmm. So here, arithmetic means a finite index he mentioned about, but finite, finite index subgroup of... Uh, yes, I mean, it is uh, commensurable. With some, right. I mean, you, if you choose the representation of this one, it, this gamma is commensurable with some GL and Z. Because you choose some representation of, GL, of this Z. I mean, you, for simplicity, you can just consider about the, the congruence subgroup. Maybe it's easy. And uh, this is the first part. And uh, the second part is. This pure map so it's in fact some so it's so now this this is a definable analytical variety and uh, later we can show that there's a functor an identification functor from the definable define definable analytical right to the category of analytical variety and uh, in fact this map is definable I mean for this I mean so on SN, we have a canonical definable structure because this is complex algebraic variety. So this is, uh, so this phi equals to some definable, uh, so sorry, analytication of some map where F is from S. I should say, I, I should let def define what is the define definabilization functor from gamma. Uh, F is. So now we need to, since, I mean, this, this one is RL definable, and this is also RL definable, but this map is not RL definable. We need to enlarge the, the minimal structure, this RN X definable. Okay. And uh, in fact, we can see more, which is a foreign theorem due to uh, Baker, Greenbaum, and, uh, and Zimmerman is
In fact, this map is not it is not only definable, but also algebraic. This so called uh, this is also conjecture of Griffiths on the algebraicity of the period map and also the concept projective concept projectivity of the period image. So there exists the theory is that there exists a unique factorization of this diff now of this of this map of F. For this I mean we have a diagram. So So F is defined. So this fact through some algebraic space, define the position of some algebraic space with some close immersion of definable, definable uh, analytical variety. So the yota and the G. The G is a morphism of. Algebraic spaces. I mean, I don't. I do not say at the moment. At the moment, I do not say that is a, a scheme or a variety. I just say the algebraic spaces. And uh, this yota is a close. Is a do, uh sorry. I should say see, see more about this. This is also dominant. G is also dominant. For this, I mean, the, we have an inclusion of the, uh, the structure shift map is an inclusion. And uh, now the, the Yota is close immersion. Of definable uh, analytical variety, An analytic. And uh, this is the first part of uh, of the theorem. The second part is that we have a natural. Q uh, Q line bundle on the on the whole variety. So if we def L defined to be the we take the determinant of each filtration, each piece of the filtration, and uh, one then this turns out to be a so turns out to be a Q line bundle. On the what you write, and uh, uh, in fact, this is definable because I mean each piece is definable. This one, and so you will sh maybe um, I mean maybe I do not have time to discuss this part, but uh, so L is definable. And if we restrict to this bundle to the closed uh, definable analytic sub variety, this shows that this is in fact algebraic. So this is definable. Stabilization on T, LT is a Q line bundle. Algebraic, so now it's on T. And uh, in fact, and they show that this LT is ample. So this implies this T. Is concept project here.
Okay. So, uh, yeah. A definable line bundle, so by definition, you mean the transition function is a uh, definable. Definable, yes, yes, that's true. And uh, now I will give you the definition in this uh, of the definable analytical variety, and uh, you will see that. Okay, okay. Okay. So let me give you some remark. And uh, the proof of the, this, the first part of the theorem of Baker, Klingler, and Zimmerman is the first part is due. It's based on the theory of the Ziegel set. And uh, the second part is based on Schmidt's theory on variation of host structures. And uh, this part, so I will merely discuss this. Because this part, this part is using some, I mean, when they prove this theorem, they introduce some, uh, some notion called, some category called omnimal category, which satisfies some omnimal Gaga theorem. So this is a consequence of omnimal Gaga plus Artin algebraization theorem. In fact, when they prove this theorem, they mean stratify the map F and uh, using the Artin algebraization to inductively algebraize each piece, each strata. And uh, in this in this case, we need to deal with some neopotent thickening and uh, so deal with some non reduced bases. And uh, a minimum Gaga can give you some, ad I mean, admissibility condition to control this behavior. And, uh, and at least a minimum Gaga, in fact, have a recall that I remember that we need a version of the. Uh, the minimal Chow theorem for algebraic spaces, this is in fact implies by the minimal Gaga, implies a minimal Chow for algebraic spaces. Reduced or not, uh, it doesn't matter. So let's give you some ingredients. Of this. So let me first tell you what is a uh, definable. Uh, so I write down some some definitions. Uh, tell you what is a definable uh, analytical variety. So we fix a, a minimal structure. Uh, sorry. Yeah, a minimal structure and uh, definable means it's definable in this minimal structure. So the definition of a uh, topological. Defi uh, definable topological spaces that if you have like the definition of a manifold, so but everything is finite here because we need definability. Uh, it's that uh, it locally is uh, is just some. Oh, sorry. Locally, it's just some uh, definable open subset of some R n. And uh, with a uh, definable transition function. So, with for this, I mean, we have open cover of these topological spaces, and uh, uh, each piece of the cover is uh, homomorphic to some definable open um, subset of some Euclidean space R m. So this is uh, this. Sorry, we I. This mean this part and uh, the change the transition function are definable. This one, the important part of this set we we we, hold, we, hold, we need to require the cover is finite. Okay. And the uh, map between uh, two definable topological spaces is called definable if this map is continuous and uh, I mean this is. 
let's say is uh, analogous with the divide or the morphism between uh, manifold. So here is for any i of you can figure it out. So so we can we get a category of uh, definable topological spaces, and we denote this category by S top S P. So an example is that if X is a real algebraic variety, then we can say the real point of this algebraic variety with the Euclidean topology, then this is canonically naturally uh, I L topology uh, definable topologic uh, definable topological spaces space right and uh, if x is a uh, affine complex algebraic variety then if we can see the so-called we we restriction Then this is a real variety. We take the real point, is by definition, is the complex point of this affine algebraic variety. Then, so this, uh, this XC with the Euclidean topology is also a RL topo definable topological spaces. And so, and uh, we can, I mean, this, we can glue this data. So if we have a complex algebraic variety, uh, we can also, we can, uh, also find a, a RL top, uh, definable topological spaces. So let's just glue this, this local data. So this is, we call the definable position functor is from algebraic variety to this category. And uh, so we, uh, for from this category here, we have forget for forget forget for functor to the category of topological spaces, and from algebraic variety, we also have a functor from this category to the topological to the category of topological spaces. Just take a complex point. So now we we wanted to do shift theory on definable analytic definable topological spaces. So for this. Let me first introduce some notation. So suppose you have a definable open subset of CN. Also, we use the real and imaginary parts to identify CN with R2N. So we can talk about definability. And uh, we define the shift M, which on each define the section on each definable open subset is just the definable holomorphic function on that open subset. So, okay. But the problem is that the, we want this to be a shift, and but but I mean. Uh, you know, definition, the cover is finite cover, so. And uh, yes, uh, so this strip, I mean, we want to glue local pieces, but but the, the glue it is only with respect to the definable open cover. So we are forced to use some glutonic topology to do shift theory. So, and uh, and uh, okay, definable. No, not here. Yeah, here. Let me first switch to here. First, so the authentic topology, which I mean, a little bit. So, suppose we have, um, we have a Definable topological spaces would define the set, the site associated to this topological space. So this is a category. The object is just definable open subset of X, and the morphism is just inclusion. 
And uh, the admissible covering, so if we have an object in this set, in this category, the definable, the admissible covering is just covering by finitely many important, finitely many definable open subsets. So this is the size. And, uh, and uh, the category of shift on this side, you denote by shift x. So now uh, we can see the definition of definable analytic spaces. So, uh, it's, it's considered the, the following data, it's data of, first, first is a topological space with some shift. So to, uh, definable topological space with some shift on this uh, site. So such that uh, each local, uh, each, uh, I mean, uh, locally, uh, this, this uh, stock are local rings. So this is a local ring site. So, such that, uh, so, so locally is given by the following data. So we have a, a finite cover such that each piece, each piece, we, if we restrict to each open subset, then it's isomorphic to some called basic definable analytic spaces. For this, I mean, this space is a, is a closed, closed subset of some definable open subset in some CM. And this I is a finally generated idea of this, of the ring of sections over this definable open subset. Okay, this, this is the definition. So locally, it's just basically definable analytical spaces. And uh, now we should. So it turns out this category. So Hello. Uh, excuse me, I can't hear anything. Are you still speaking? I cannot hear anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I, I wish I could hear something. I couldn't hear. I think he lost the connection. Let's wait for him. To uh, yeah. Maybe we can take a small break, small rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I made an announcement that the next time, so uh, Hao Feng will give us a, a talk on the limits of the uh, whole structures. So he will okay, okay. give two talks. So, uh, and. Uh, <coughs> Then the work by uh, Steinbrück on the degeneration of body structures. So it's just a parallel, uh, a different approach, but the equivalent to the theory by Schmidt on the limiting of uh, body structures. So uh, Min Chen Xia will uh, send uh, the announcement uh, today, maybe after the talk. Mm. Sorry, well, I don't know what happened. So it's okay now? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, we can yeah. hear it now. Great. So, 
So, well, I mean, where should I begin with here? Or, I don't know. I mean, which part, uh, I mean, do you, did you miss this part? Uh, so, you know the definition of this part, uh, the definable analytic space now? Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, now, uh, so we want to, do, so we have a co good theory of a coherent shift on the category of definable analytic spaces. So this is locally finite generated and a locally finite presentation. I mean, it is it's just the usual definition. We have a finite, we have a presentation locally. And a coherent means that this finite generated and uh, such that for any map, any map, for instance, free module to F, the kernel is locally finite generated. And we denote uh, the category, of, maybe just, sorry, category of coherent OX module by coherent X. This category is extension closed abelian category. So, I mean, this is abelian subcategory of this category, of this category here. And uh, it's also extension closed. And uh, we have a definable OCA coherence theorem, which means that the structure shift is coherent. I mean, the proof is like in the analytic category is used on why it's just preparation theorem or no certain uh, normalization theorem. So, and uh, this definable OCA theorem implies the, co the category of a Korean shift is just the category of finite presented uh, OX modules. Yeah. So now, Uh, so now we, we want to define, so there is a natural analytification functor. Analytification functor from this definable analytic space category to the category of analytic spaces. So, right, because locally, because, uh, because locally it's given basically definable analytic subset, which is given by a finite generality ideal shift. So we can just take uh, the, uh, the shift, uh, the, the, the set, the analytic subset cut, cut out by this ideal shift. So, and uh, so, so if we have a as definable analytic space, then we, we can get a morphism of size. Of size. From this analytic side to so for morphism of size I mean in fact this is a functor in the I mean in other direction we just send cover to cover and the fiber preserve fiber product so we can get an analytic analytification functor on the category of shifts Should just write x this sends f to fm, which defined to be also oh, this map is 
but G, G inverse of, uh, so this just, just not just morphism of side, morphism of locally rimmed sites. I mean, we have some local rim, shift of local rims on the side. So this is just, I mean, this is, when you do classical uh, Gaga theorem, you, you can see this construction. Okay, so in particular, this implies the identification of the structure shift is the structure shift of the identification. So the theorem is that this functor is faithful and exact. For any definable um, analytic spaces. Uh, the proof relies on the following two facts. This means uh, the fact facts is that the local ring of each of the structure shift of each uh, definable analytic space is, is no theorem. Uh, and uh, the proof of this use uh, well it's just a uh, division theorem, definable version of this theorem. And uh, the second part is if we take the composition of this local ring, it's in fact, this is clonical as morphic to the completion of in the analytic topology. Can you explain what's the meaning of this for and exact? Ah, this for means that uh, it's injection or morphisms. So, FG. Okay. This is injection and exact, it, 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 it preserves exact sequence. So if we have FG H, is in price, this is also exact. Ah, I see. Is it? I see. Okay. And now we want, we come to the definition of define. So let's define definabilization functor. So, uh, so suppose now, suppose X is a, Algebraic right, a fine complex algebraic right. Model out some finite generated idea. This is a fine scheme. So we, we can get a the definable analytic spaces, right? So it's just the space cut out by uh, associated to this ideal shift. Till OCN is is, 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 is a structure shift of CN in the category of defined by analytic spaces. And uh, this can glue together. If X is a scheme OC, then we can get this definable, definable uh, definabilization of this scheme. And uh, Similarly, as above, we can get a um, morphism of sites. So let's just write it down quickly. To, so if we begin with a scheme, this is a morphism of local, local rim, rim site. And uh, we can also get the defined, defined Polarization functor, this is coherent shift to coherent. Just send F to F definable. So the definition is at above, this is 
G equals F. So in particular, this implies the defined position of the structure shift is just the structure of defined position. So this uh, remark is that this is in fact can be generalized to algebraic spaces. So since I do not have time, uh, I, I will not discuss algebraic spaces. Or we'll see, I will not dis I will just say a little bit about it because for an algebraic spaces, we have a presentation. So this is a, just a caution, a caution of scheme by some, oh sorry, by some ADA closed concept compact closed ADA equivalent relation. So we, we can have a presentation of this X and this RY, our scheme. And this is a, a concept, concept compact uh, ADA equivalence relation. And uh, so this, we can define the lines, this two part, right? And uh, then this turns out to be a ADA definable analytic equivalent relation. And uh, Baker, Bruno Bob, and uh, Zimmerman shows that the caution also exists in the category of, in the category of um, definable analytic spaces. So this is definableization. So we get, so, now we have three category, algebraic spaces, right? And we have a definableization functor. Analytic spaces, OC, and uh, also this is analytification. Uh, here, this is the usual analytication, and uh, this, are this analytification I defined before, and uh, this is just defined. And uh, in fact, we can also have a functor, definabilization functor at the level of shifts. So suppose we have X is a of coherent shift algebraic spaces. So we can have a Found from these two. Called defined position. So you, you just see the functor at the lab uh, when X is a scheme, but when X is algebraic spaces, you can also define because um, because if F is a coherent shift on some algebraic spaces, this equivalent to the following uh, descent data, right? It's equivalent to given some descent data, G phi. So because uh, X is algebraic scheme, we have a presentation. So if we base change, we have a map. This is pi ij, this is pi one, pi two. Uh, descent data means that G is a coherent shift on this scheme and uh, satisfy, uh, and the phi is an um, isomorphism. If we pull back this uh, shift to R, this equivalent relation is an isomorphism and uh, satisfying that cosigo condition. So, and uh, so this data can be definableized, right? And uh, so we define the defined position of a coherent shift on algebraic space to be the descent data associated to, uh, 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 yes, the defined position of the descent data of F. 
So now comes to the theorem, the all minimal Gaga. Is that if X is algebraic spaces, definable, then this function is fully faithful. Oh, sorry, define a position. Is fully faithful. For this, I mean, it's as a morphism on the level of morphisms. And also exact. And uh, this map is not, not essentially structured, but the essential image is closed on the sub-object and also caution. So a few words about the proof of this theorem. So in fact, I mean, this is the, this is what I want to talk in this talk, but I, I think I don't have time, but just a few minutes of the proof. So we have three categories, right? Now and uh, also coherent X N. This identification also the identification, and that here definabilization. Uh, if you remember, this map is faithful exact, but this map is also faithful exact. So this implies is faithful exact. And uh, mm, the sub-object, I mean, stable on the sub-object, uh, sorry, on the sub, implies the fullness, the fullness of the, the function, because you say, you can say that a map Phi can be recovered from the graph of phi. So, but this is the injection, and also subobject implies the caution. This is because we already know the function is faithful and exact. So. The only thing you need to do is the this functor is close on on the taking sub object, but uh, I mean this requires a little bit work, and uh, I don't have since I don't have time, I, I will stop here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much for the talk, and it's time for questions and remarks. So uh, I have a question. So how uh, how can we use this to prove the uh, the Griffith line bundle example using this so minimal Gaga? Uh, uh, what do you mean? How 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 do you use that? I don't. I mean, uh, mm. uh, so uh, the, you say second statement of, uh, is that uh, there's um, the Griffith line bundle example, but is it uh, related to this so minimal Gaga? I mean, uh, it, no, I mean, the proof of the embonies of the line model is to use some, um, I mean, vanishing theorem. And uh, I mean, it, it doesn't evolve uh, the, the minimal Gaga theorem because it, I mean, it, the omnimal Gaga theorem just, I mean, applied to prove that the, the pure image is definable, but I mean, it doesn't use to prove that, I mean, it's also, uh, is in fact used in my part because I mean we also know we just know that this Griffith line boundary is definable, right? Mm -hmm. But we need to use the definable Gaga to say that this is in fact algebraic line boundary. Okay. So this is only part. Learn we prove that this line bound this this is a minimal Gaga. Then we want to 
then we need to show this algebraic light bundle is, is ample. And uh, I mean, here is some value zero, I mean, Fujita value zero. So you mean, uh, when, uh, the only point in, in this uh, ambleness is just that uh, they show that it's an uh, algebraic line bundle. So it's not a, uh, uh, that's why the, uh, okay. the preparation of the minimal gaga to, to show the uh, LT is, is algebraic, not only, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, for this, I mean, uh, they want. Uh, I mean, they first show that this the omega is just used to show that this Lambano is algebraic. Then the amplitude of this Lambano is. I mean, it it doesn't uh, have nothing to do with omega cover in this case. So, but uh, I mean, uh, this is the uh, crucial uh, because uh, it seems that uh, okay, uh, okay, because. It, uh, so I think the main goal is to prove the Griffiths conjecture. So then the, the final goal is to prove that this is ambo is right. Yes, the final goal is to prove that this, this uh, pre, uh, yes. The final goal, yes. So but you, without it knowing that uh, this is algebraic, uh, you, we cannot uh, argue directly using the vanishing theorem, uh, Fujita vanishing theorem to show that. I don't know. So. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, because I didn't, I didn't read the proof of this part. But uh, okay. uh, so, what's maybe, the question of Fujino vanishing theorem? Fujita. 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 Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, so, what's the question of of Fujita vanishing theorem? Uh, let me check. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure because I mean, I'm not familiar with this. Uh, uh, this truth, but I mean, the idea is that check a little. The idea is that uh, so since we know this bundle, uh, this so uh, this is algebraic. So we then mm -hmm. we consider the following uh, spaces of sections. I mean. Uh, is a globe subject, I mean, to the power of the line bundle. The, this is a algebraic sections, I mean, vanishing. Uh, I, I should say that, I mean, in the proof of the grid structure, I mean, we need to assume that the, uh, the pure map is always proper, but we can, also, we can always do that. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, vanishing at the boundary. Uh, uh, for this, I mean, I mean, the section pull back to the section of some uh, of this uh, logarithmic lie bundle. Tls bar is is some smooth uh, Roman cross compactification of S. And uh, and Griffiths compute the curvature of this light bundle uh, in the horizontal direction, right? And uh, in fact, this 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 these sections will give you some generic embedding of T in some projective spaces. Uh, any problem? This is generic embed. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, I think we need to, still to use some delinear extension to show that this map, uh, this I mean, mm -hmm. this bundle LT is never and big. I think it, maybe the new extension. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, and uh, the section vanishing at the boundary of some power. So, so the, I mean, till the generic embedding is, is that 
I think we need the first to show that you use the linear extension to show that this boundary is never and big, and uh, the mm -hmm. section vanish and the boundary of some power of this line bundle will give you some generic embedding. Right? And uh, the problem is that we want to show that this, this map separates points and the tangent effects mm. everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, mean, I mean, this I think is the technical part of the paper, but uh, I think there's some Fujita Venus theorem, but I'm no, no, not sure which version they use, but mm. Mm. I'm not sure, sorry. I agree. This is a difficult part. I think it's not really yeah. you follow the this part. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yes, this is the technical part. I think in the paper, but I I, I think I should spend some time to go with this. Sorry. Uh, uh, so uh, so I have another question. So here, uh, yeah. you take the pyramid map actually. So it's not exactly a pyramid map because you quotient by some um, bigger 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 group of rather than the yes, I quotient by some. I mean. I need to deal with arithmetic caution. So I, I, is it possible to only caution with the monogamy group? The proof can uh, be uh, modified. Uh, you just to take the caution of the monogamy group. Uh, I'm not sure how to put a, a, a dependable structure on such thing. I, I think we can put some dependent, but I don't know how to prove. I don't know how to prove that this map is dependent. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some other questions? All right. If there are no more questions, then that's the end of the talk. Thank you very much, Jamie. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me.